Hey guys, JK Brown Fischl here. And what is deep work? You might've seen that name popping around recently a little bit more than normal, or it might be something you clicked on and went, what the heck is that guy talking about? And it has nothing to do with diving, has nothing to do with digging a hole. It has everything to do with digging yourself out of the hole and focusing on your concentration. And really, this process has helped me out a lot. I have attention deficit issues like, well, almost everybody in the entrepreneur world does. And everybody finds their own way to fix it. And I have not done this until fairly recently. And it really helped me. That's why I decided to make this video. And the idea of deep work is basically limiting every bit of distraction planning what you're going to do and then focusing on it for an ex for a specific amount of time it gives you a goal a time frame to finish it and all the necessary tools to accomplish it so some people might find they only able to do this for you know 30 minutes ultimately the best time is about 90 minutes of doing that if you go past that 90 minutes even better but your goal should be to shoot for that now, how do you accomplish it? And this is gonna be the really tough distract one for a lot of people. You gotta put the distractions out. Um, that includes all sorts of things like your phone. It's gotta go away, y'all. Um, I actually, if you're a um, iPhone user, there's a do not disturb function. In fact, if you just um, take your phone and on the screen, flip it up, see that little um, moon icon, you click that. And I know the immediate distraction is gonna be from a lot of the people of, but I have to hear from somebody. Unless you're in one of those jobs where you 100% have to answer that second and it can't wait 90 minutes or less, then you can do this. You might think, family, what if my child has to get a hold of me? What if my um, you know, spouse, what if you know, somebody? Okay, if you're in one of those boats, you can add them to your VIP list. And what I did was I told everybody on that VIP list what I'm doing, and I put them on call only. So, you know, my wife still wants to shoot me some um, text messages or if, um, you know, I have somebody who um, wants to get a hold of me that can wait that 90 minutes, it's great. Even for my clients, I do not like to be 100% at their beck and call at that moment. So after the 90 minutes, I'll call them back. The world will not, will not explode in that time period unless you're somebody who has one of those jobs at that moment you have to pick up the phone, okay? So you can limit them. Also, when you put on that do not disturb, it'll take all those notifications away. It'll make sure you don't pick it up. Um, I like to have it on there because I do need to be reached by my son's school at any time. And also, if you know there's a health issue or something, I need to know. So I do keep it with me. I just put it in do not disturb, and I'll actually put it face down or in the drawer next to me so I can still hear it ring, and I know it's one of those in reality, six people are gonna hold of me out of a couple thousand people in this thing. So that's the first step. The next step is your actual computer. Um, that needs to be distraction resistant as well. So what you need to do is go ahead. Um, again, if you're an Apple user, if you click on the upper right hand corner, there is um, your um, there's a little, it says three dots, three lines. You can click right there and you can turn on do not disturb. I actually make it a point of doing this my entire work day. From when I start working until when I um, end, I actually do that so it turns off all those notifications. So it allows me to pick what I'm distracted by. And um, in here, what that'll do is it'll allow it so when I bring up my screens, it keeps that up there. A couple of things, right over here off of screen, I have um, a extra monitor, and then on my com main computer screen, um, I have all of my um, windows, and I bring up only the things I'm gonna use for that 90 minutes. So for example, what I like to do is I put all my research only in those windows on my extra screen, and I type in my primary screen on my laptop. That'll keep me from going over to Facebook or something like that. I close the windows, they're gone. I'll come for, open them up later. Same thing for email. I'll get rid of all those email windows. I'll turn, turn off um, my email notifications. I don't even see them. So I don't see the old you know, indicators popping up. They're gone too. And then what I like to do is after I have that, 
before I sit down, I have everything set. I'll go ahead and set, I'm gonna run through my ritual here. I go get myself a beverage so I'm not distracted by the fact of I need to get up and oh, I'm thirsty and I, set, and I create a self-failing moment and I gotta go do that. TMI, sorry, I'll go to the bathroom ahead of time. Make sure I'm not having to get up part of the way through. And then I'll also go ahead and I like to throw on a set of headphones and I use instrumental music. Um, does not necessarily have to be classical or jazz or something you'd hear in an elevator. Um, I actually use, my personal selection is Fearless Motivation um, instrumentals, which I use. Um, the other thing I like to use is um, I'll just put in, um, in uh, music by Amazon, um, you know, uh, motivational music or focus music or something like that and I'll look for instrumental only and I know I always get this thing oh but I don't get distracted by the words you do you're lying to yourself otherwise because you're gonna hear those words and they're gonna ping in the back of your head and then a lot of people will want to start singing along with it and things like that again distraction you want to keep that out of there this is supposed to be super focused really on it so um, drop in there, drop in someone's music. And there is, by the way, for those instrumental music, there are pop music right now, all sorts of things you can put in there. Um, and that'll work too. Um, I'll go ahead and close the door to my office. I'll make sure there's no TVs on, anything. And the reason why I'm doing this is I have really bad attention deficit. I really do. I have trouble focusing on things. And if I do this and I, have a, and I literally have a goal of that 90 minutes, I will be focused on getting the work done. Sometimes I'll actually get so deep in it, even with my attention issues, that I'll actually go past the 90 minutes. And I didn't even realize I did. I did that this morning. Um, I set my time, timer and I don't have an alarm. I just want to make sure I get to that point. And I was going through it. All of a sudden I realized, wow, it was actually two hours. And in that two hours, before I started doing this, the same task I was doing, um, which was bulleting and outlining the course that I'm working on right now, is I put that in there and I only would normally do about, normally two pages of outlines in that 90 minutes. And with this, I actually did this morning, no lie, six pages of bullets because of that focus, I had everything in front of me. I had all my notes, I had my um, research material, excuse me, um, underneath my lap, the laptop here, I actually keep a huge whiteboard to write ideas down on because I wanna sometimes visualize things that's a little more efficient than the computer. And I was focused on it and I was deep. Now, this technique, I've actually used a modified version of it in schools. I was a technology teacher for a decade. And, you know, I found ways to tell students, okay, just get this goal, a goal of this many minutes. That's it. You only have to do this snippet. You can't tell almost anybody, I need you to focus unwavering for eight hours. Nothing. Eight hours. That's it most people are not going to be able to accomplish it because it's an unfathomable thing. But with deep work, where you have a single focus, you have everything laid out in front of you, you're going to either two, three, or even four X the amount of your of um, result you're going to get out of that. So um, I guarantee you the first couple of times you do this, the first little bit, you're going to be having that nervous tick of grabbing your phone, wanting to check to see, you know, your buddy just posted a new crazy meme or, you know, you see, oh, how many notifications do I have going? You know, all those things. Don't worry about it. It's only 90 minutes and you're going to find that productivity. Now, the powerhouse that I put together is I like to split this. Um, when I'm doing my normal work day, what I'll do is I'll do 90 minutes of deep work in the morning. I'll do 90 minutes in the afternoon. And then in the middle, I'll kind of do those things where you kind of have to get distracted. I'll reply to emails or I'll do social media posts, things like that. And I'll work on those little smaller tasks that can get broken up or things I can multitask and do. Like for example, if I need to eat lunch, um, I will do something with it. So for example, you know, I'll watch a YouTube video or something like that to get ideas. So that'll help you with it. Now, 
Shameless plug, if you had um, value for this, please smash the subscribe button, turn on the notifications. It would mean the world to me because I am trying to drop some great value on you and um, give you some tips that are actually applicable, not just regurgitations of somebody else. So um, also with that being said, um, I have a great course um, if you'd like to look into that and it's on digital courses, how to create them and it's different. So listen to me for just a second is this is actually taught by a teacher. I was a teacher for over a decade. I have a master's degree in education and have taught thousands of students, developed curriculum for um, many very reputable places, including states and private organizations and businesses. And I am taking that knowledge and how I got all of that curriculum done quickly and effectively to you and showing you how to monetize it because there's almost nothing better short of winning the lottery in a way to get out of your nine to five than being in the um, e-learning space. And it's going to be a $325 billion plus industry by 2025. So everybody's trying to get into it. And if you're interested, um, there's a link in the description for Course Building Accelerator. And you can catch me over on Facebook for that as well, um, or JK Brown Official on the web. So with that being said, give that deep work a try. I'm sure you'll find it extremely helpful. And because I know I did. And uh, 2x or more your productivity in 90 minutes or less. With that, JK Brown out.